Now, before we go on to sing some more cowboy songs, I should tell you that some of the information I got for this video came from online encyclopedia resources like the Texas Almanac and Britannica and www.history.com, some information from Wikipedia and the Cowboy Showcase and the Chief Storyteller. But right now, let's take a look at this picture that I drew a little while ago and see if we can find some of the cowboy things in here, some of the words that you should know. So I'm going to draw some stuff here first. Let's see. Let's draw this out here. And it'll... Oh, there are little kind of spiky things, metal things that hook onto your cowboy boots. What do you call those? That's right, those are called spurs. And you use them to get your pony to go a little faster. You don't really kick them hard because these things are spiky, but you kind of rub them against the side of the horse and make it go. What's this called? That's right, it's a lasso. And here's cowboy boots. What's this thing called? Well, you're right, it's a bandana. Sometimes the cowboys take a bandana and put it around their mouth and nose to keep out the dust, or they soak it in water so that uh, they could cool off their hot brow in the middle of the sunny day when they were working on the trail. Here's chaps. They would wear those chaps uh, to keep from rubbing on the horse and also to help with all the cactus and other things that could hurt you on the trail. Here's his cowboy hat. Sometimes there was there were big cow, cowboy hats, they called them 10 gallon hats. I don't think you could actually fit 10 gallons of water in them, but they would dip their hats in water to get a drink. And here's a pony. We know that. <laughs> now in the first song, this is old paint. Uh, a paint is another word for a kind of a horse called a pinto. And a pinto is kind of has spots, spots all over it. They call it paint because it looked like somebody came up and threw some brown paint on a white horse. And over here is old Dan. Old Dan is too old to actually carry the cowboy. So he carries the things that the cowboy can use on the trail. Like there's his guitar and he's got his bedroll that he sleeps down underneath the open sky. Under... Oh, look, here's doggies. And all the doggies would travel in a huge herd, there'd be one that would be kind of the leader, one or two that would be kind of the leader, and everybody would kind of follow along. And uh, in the midday, when it got to be about noon, they'd stop to let the doggies and the ponies and everybody rest a little bit, and they'd find a place where there was some water uh, and, the, and some grass so the doggies would have something to eat and drink. And those places that had grass are called coolies, and a place in between mountains that comes down that sometimes has a little stream in it is called a draw. So they feed in the coolies and they water in the draw. Oh, down here's, here's what's this? Yep, he gathered pine branches and made a campfire and he's cooking his dinner over the campfire. What's he cooking in there? Well, it's about the only thing that cowboys had to eat were beans and bacon. Beans and bacon for breakfast, beans and bacon for lunch, beans and bacon for dinner. Boy, they got tired of beans and bacon, let me tell you. Usually, however, on the big um, cattle drives, there was a check wagon, and I talked about that before. What's this on the back of the pony? <laughs> That's right, it's a saddle. What's hanging down? That's right, they're called stirrups. You put your feet in the stirrups as you ride along on your pony on the trail. And Uh-oh. What's this? Way up here. Long ways away. Hey, it's one of the doggies. It ran away from the herd. You gotta catch it. So get on your pony right now. Okay, put your feet in the stirrup. Get your lasso. And take your spurs and make that pony go a little faster. Okay, you're gonna ride up on me, ride up on me. And get your lasso going like that. Throw it, catch that doggie. Got it. Pull it in. Lead him back to the herd. Then reach over and take your rope off and pat him on top of the head and say, don't you run away anymore, little doggy. Actually, I don't think you patted little doggies on the head. 
that might not have been safe. Sometimes when the cattle drive got close to a town, the trail boss would let one or two of the cowboys go out to town and maybe get a bath and have a good dinner or something besides beans and bacon and sleep in a real feather bed, not in a bedroll underneath the stars. And after supper in town, the cowboy might go out to the local barn dance and there'd be one guy playing the fiddle and another guy playing a harmonica, another guy playing a guitar maybe. They'd have a barn dance, and this is one of the old barn dance songs. And it's about old Dan Tucker. Now, in this song, old Dan Tucker combed his hair with a wagon wheel. He uh, died with a toothache in his heel. Do you think any of that happened? Of course not. This is a ridiculous song, but it's a fun one to dance to. And on the refrain of this song, you should clap a steady beat because it's fun and that's what they did way back in the day. Here we go, a song about old Dan Tucker. I went downtown the other night, I heard a voice and I saw a fight. The watchman he went running round, singing old Dan Tucker's come to town. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to eat your supper. Supper's over and dinner is cooking, old Dan Tucker just stands there looking. Old Dan Tucker has come to town, riding a billy goat and leading a hound. The hound dog bark and the billy goat jump, landed old Dan Tucker on top of a stump. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to eat your supper. Supper's over and dinner's cooking, old Dan Tucker just stands there looking. Old Dan Tucker has come to town, swinging the ladies round and round. First to the right and then to the left and then to the girl he loves the best. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to eat your supper. Supper's over and dinner's cooking. Old Dan Tucker stands there looking. Old Dan Tucker is a mean old man, washed his face in a frying pan, combed his hair with a wagon wheel, died with a toothache in his heel. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to eat your supper. Supper is over and dinner is cooking, old Dan Tucker just stands there looking. Old Dan and me, we did fall out, and what do you think it was all about? I stepped on his corn and he kicked my shin. That's the way it all began. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. You're too late to eat your supper. Supper's over and dinner's cooking. Old Dan Tucker just stands there looking. Now we know that cowboys originally came from Mexico. They called them vaqueros down there. And in this next song from Mexico, the vaquero is missing his sweetheart or his wife who lives a long ways away in the beautiful town of Cerrito Lindo, which means beautiful sky. It's high atop the Sierra Morena mountains. And this vaquero sings about his sweetheart with her beautiful black eyes. And he sings about Cielito Lindo, and in the refrain he sings, Canta no llores. What does that mean? You're right. It means sing, don't cry. And at the end of the refrain, he talks about his corazones, the Cielito Lindo, the beautiful town of their hearts. De la Sierra Morena, Cielito Lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de oídos negros, Cielito Lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 canta en no llores, porque Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Una vez más, vamos a cantar. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque 
cantando se alla gran cielito lindo de corazones. Now the Chisholm Trail, like we talked about before, was one of the major routes that brought Longhorn cattle from the ranches down in Texas all the way up north to the train depots in Kansas. And the Chisholm Trail started in Brownsville, Texas, and ended up in Abilene and some other towns up north. In the song, the cowboy is telling you about his life, herding cattle, how sometimes he gets so tired of eating beans and bacon that it's almost like he's eating the grass that the cows eat. Or when he got into a big disagreement with his boss about how much he should get paid and what it's like night herding the old Chisholm Trail well come along boys and listen to my tale I'll tell you about my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail come a tie I yippee yippee yay yippee yay come a tie I yippee yippee yay with a $10 horse and a $40 saddle, I started in herding these Texas cattle. Come a tie, I yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay. Come a tie, I yippee, yippee, yay. I'm up in the morning before daylight, before I sleep, the moon shines bright. Come a tie, I yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay. Come a tie, I yippee, yippee, yay. Well, it's bacon and beans most every day. Soon we'll be eating this prairie hay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. With my seat in the saddle and my hand on the horn, I'm the best cow puncher that's ever been born. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. No chaps, no slicker, and it's pouring down rain. I swear I'll never night herd again. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. I went to the boss for to draw my roll. He had me figured out nine dollars in the hole. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. Well, me and my boss, we had a little spat. I hit him in the face with my ten gallon hat. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. I'm gonna sell my horse, sell my saddle. Tired of punching these longhorn cattle. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. With my knees in the saddle and my seat in the sky, I'll quit punching cows in the sweet by and by. Come a tie, I yippee yippee yay yippee yay. Come a tie, I yippee.